I'd like to welcome Bill. Buenos dias, bienvenido. Uh, oh, that's all the Spanish I know. You're lucky. I'm Bill Clayton with the uh, Elder Board, and I just want to share uh, two or three updates with you this morning. I am going to read them because uh, it's a little bit lengthy, and I'll try to keep it, uh, keep it brief. The first area is the uh, budget. And as many of you are aware, we continue to be behind in actual giving as it's compared to what we anticipated and budgeted for uh, earlier. However, this doesn't reflect the changes that have taken place in our expenses, which include staff reduction, utility savings, uh, and wise spending. This means that our current giving exceeds our current expenditures. Doug Dupree, uh, yeah, that is a worth, worth a... <laughs> Doug Dupree, our church administrator, is now making those adjustments uh, for us, and they'll be reflected in upcoming worship folders in a way that just clearly communicates our current financial condition. As elders, we cannot thank you enough for all that you do and how you've faithfully given to the family here at Trinity during our transition period. And together, have kept us strong and a, fa a strong foundation to uh, receive our next senior pastor. The second item is uh, pretty close to my heart because I've been working closely with uh, those uh, handful of men that you recommended to come on uh, elder board. And so there's a process that we've been going through a little different than we have in the past. A few months ago, you identified a group of men that we should consider as potential elders. And we've been meeting with them as a part of an orientation and development process. We ask you to continue to pray for both uh, these men and the elders in the coming weeks as we mutually determine God's direction and timing for this coming July at our uh, meeting. We want you to know that we are continuing this process on an ongoing basis just to have a pool of, um, of leadership development going on on a continuing basis to draw from. And the last, uh, last item I have is the uh, pastoral candidate process. And as Diane Keel mentioned uh, from, for the pastoral search team a couple of Sundays ago, they were down to one candidate that they were in process with. They're finishing up the reference checks, and if everything goes as they anticipate, they will be presenting the pastoral candidate to the elders this Thursday night. That's something to be praying for. What I'd ask you to do is please be in prayer for him and for the elders we, as we together begin our process now of getting to know each other and how well suited he might be for Trinity Church. It's an exciting time for Trinity, and together we want to know the mind of the Lord in this. Please be patient with the process. Remember, it is a process. Remember, he's in full-time ministry right now and has a congregation to whom he is actively ministering. We need to be wise in that relationship and his time constraints. When he and the elders agree that we want to move forward, we will present him to you, the Trinity family, as the man we believe should be our next senior pastor. And before I close in prayer, I just want to share with you a verse that's meant a lot to me from uh, Lamentations, the, the crying prophet. The Lord's loving kindnesses indeed never cease, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord, thank you for this morning and to help us as we continue to worship just to pour our hearts out to you and trust you. In Christ's name, amen.